Hello everyone, I'm Laura from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library, and thanks for joining me for our Crafting Corner. Today, I'm going to make a butterfly house. This project was designed at the library, and you can pick one up as one of our seniors kits, found on our website at innisfilidealab.ca slash seniors kits, or for a young learner in your life as one of our learn at home kits available for purchase at innisfilidealab.ca slash hacklab dash home dash kits. Start by making sure that you have all the pieces for your butterfly house in your kit. A paintbrush, paint, paper towel for any mistakes or messes, and wood glue or hot glue. I am going to paint the outside of my house pieces first. Pollinators are attracted to bright colors like purple and yellow. And if you have a pollinator garden, it is a great place to install your butterfly house when it is complete. Pollinators are creatures like butterflies, birds, bats, and bees, who visit flowers and then transport the pollen as they move from spot to spot, so that more plants can grow. These plants provide us with fruits, vegetables, nuts, and more. Once the paint is dry on your house pieces, you can start putting them together. I am going to work from the bottom to the top sliding the cutouts together and carefully placing some hot glue along the joins. The Butterfly House Kit also comes with some information about which plants attract pollinators, like butterflies and bees. For example, milkweed, coneflowers, lavender, and more. One of the roof pieces will not need glue so that you are able to remove it and clean the inside of the butterfly house when necessary. Lastly, you can add some decorations to your butterfly house. You can rest the extra sticks that come in the kit on a diagonal inside your butterfly house for the butterflies to safely make their chrysalis on. For more inspiration, take a look through our catalogue. Type the craft that you are interested in into the keyword search, scroll through the results to find the book that will work for you, then click on the title to find more information, like which branch it is located at and where it can be found. You can even put the book on hold where you will be notified by phone or email when it is ready to pick up from the branch of your choice. We would love for you to share a photo of a craft that you're working on with us at the library. You can tag us on social media at Innisfil Idea Lab or you can send me an email at l-j-e-f-f-e-r-y at innisfilidealab.ca. Hope to see you all soon. Take care.